Okay, making this video to help people with their bed bug problems. I want to share some information that I use to protect myself. I've survived some pretty big infestations in this, in this apartment by um, following a few things here. Uh, there's three things that you need. Uh, you need to seal your apartment from bed bugs as best you can. You need a mattress encasement, which I have, and you, you need uh, interceptor traps to prevent bugs from getting up. First thing is my mattress encasement and box spring encasement. This one completely goes around the bed. There's other videos showing how to use all that, but you just basically put it on your mattress and box spring. Protects bugs from getting in. There's a zipper that bugs uh, can't get through, specifically designed. Um, what these do is they prevent uh, bugs from getting inside your mattress. And it doesn't mean you won't get bugs on them, it just makes um, inspection really easy. You can flip it open, you can easily see if you've got bugs. A normal box spring has got a million places for them to hide. This way it makes uh, early detection of the blood spots and the fecal matter or the bugs real easy. And that's what that does. And I have a half encasement from Protect the Bread. It just goes over top. What that does is it protects the, uh, the encasement because you don't want to take your encasement off ever. That way I can just wash this when I need to. And it's just a half encasement. It's for dust mites as well. Then I just have a mattress, cotton mattress pad on here on top, so further protection from it, because you don't want to take your encasements off ever. Um, to make that work, you can't have nothing hanging down, so no skirts, no sheets, nothing can be hanging down, or uh, bugs will hit you right up. You have to have your bed pulled from the wall, like I've done so here. Pull your bed from the wall, make sure your pillows aren't touching, and you're never going to be perfect accidentally when you're sleeping, things will touch. When I roll around in my sleep, sometimes half the sheets on the floor, but um, in a really bad active infestation, I wouldn't even use any sheets. I would just lay on top of them. I wouldn't even use any. I don't have an active infestation now, but I try to prevent that sheets from touching the ground. You can't let anything go on the bed. Your bed must be a sanctuary. Um, no putting books or anything else from an unprotected area can go onto your bed. You can't put clothing. You can't sit on the bed or lay on the bed uh, if you were sitting on an area that's not protected because your bed must be a sanctuary because uh, bugs really reproduce a lot faster when they have access to your blood and you don't want them in your bed. Okay, that's it for mattress encasements. There's lots of videos about those. Uh, the next thing you want to have is interceptor traps. These are interceptor traps. You want to have them on all the legs of your bed, just like so, like I've done. and. I put my bed on blocks of wood to get it even higher and the casters go in in there. This video is showing how to use these. Pretty much easy. You just use talcum powder, coat it, and the bugs climb up here and they get trapped in the wells right there. What I've done here is I put an extra cup in the middle to give it extra layer of insurance so there's no way they're going to climb up. What I did is I coated this all with baby powder like you're supposed to and I coated the plastic with baby powder. The legs go in there. So the bugs would have a lot of climbing to do. So they would never basically be able to get up to my bed. So that's what I do to protect my bed. You can also make homemade traps. There's other videos showing how to do that. Just uh, use a uh, plastic right there and just coat the uh, coat with baby powder. I'll make another video on that. The next thing you want to do is protect uh, your dresser and your clothing. You don't want them on your clothing. So what I did there, here's my dresser. I get a plywood, sheet of plywood underneath and I cut it and I put casters underneath it, screwed some casters on, and I, again I have the interceptor trap there protecting my dresser. The wood's there just so it doesn't uh, dig into the carpet and break the trap. The dresser is pulled back from the wall so nothing is touching. Um, basically, I don't want to hang any clothing so I put my extra clothing in these plastic bins on top of here, and that's what I've done to protect my clothing. Uh, the next thing you want to do is protect your couch the same way. Uh, I have interceptor traps. I pulled this out. I'm changing my interceptor traps. I'm going to clean them out. should do that once a month or so. But the interceptor traps go under the legs of my bed. And I put them on uh, pieces of wood like that. The couch can't be touching the wall. Make sure nothing's touching. Again, make sure you're not sitting uh, in an unprotected area and then go sitting on your couch. Unprotected thing would be like my kitchen chair there. That is not protected, so I'd make sure I'm changing my clothes if I want to come and sit on my couch. And here's the interceptor traps on my uh, my chair. 
so they can't climb up to my chair, nothing's hanging down. So it's going to remain bag bug free. When I do laundry, I put it basically until I'm ready to fold it, as did laundry earlier, I throw it on my couch, which is protected. So there's going to be no bed bugs getting on to my laundry, as long as my couch is uh, bed bug free. Okay, that's what I do to protect my couch, my laundry, and my bed. The next thing you want to do is you want to try to seal bed bugs out of your place, which is really hard to do, but it can make a big difference. So what I've done here is I've used that green painter's tape. I went around every seam of my apartment, and I have sealed as best I can. It's where the carpet is. It's not the best for carpet, but it sticks. And the carpet actually goes pretty tight against the wall, but I did as best I could. I went around. Um, maybe better kinds of tape to use. I'll have to look at that. And when the pipes go in for the, uh, the hot water heating, I used expanding foam and taped it up wherever I could, as, as good as I could. Same with underneath the radiator, same thing. I taped, took them right off and taped up where the carpet meets the wall, as good as I could. Uh, I taped around all my wall plugs. I put those plastic inserts in where I'm not using a plug just to protect them. Um, where the carpet uh, ends, I uh, taped it so they can't get underneath. Where the tile meets the uh, baseboard, same thing. These painters tape all the way around the perimeter of my entire apartment. I did the perimeter of the kitchen cabinets as well. Underneath, where the pipes come out. In the bathroom, you do this as well. Here's the kitchen. Um, I taped it up with duct tape really, really well. Overkill, I taped it right around so bugs aren't going to get through that. However, where this... Um, where this ki kitchen counters go into the wall, it is not sealed. When they renovated, I don't think they did that when they put the kitchen counters in. So it's not sealed there and there's nothing I can really do about that. Even though it's sealed here, they can still come up through the back and work their way. But I still sealed off as many places as I could. I pulled the fridge out and the stove out I did behind there. Sealed the wall there. I was able to seal that 100%. was expanding foam with the uh, the 220 uh, plugs come in and again it's sealed right around the entire perimeter of my place is completely done in that stuff and so far so good it seems to be working that would slow down the spread of any bed bugs um, for sure you could use uh, caulking but uh, I don't think my landlord would want me using caulking it would be a better idea more permanent so in my situation I just used that uh, tape temporarily I'm not going to get in trouble with the, uh, with the landlord. I don't know how well this would work against roaches. I don't know if they can actually chew their way through this tape. I imagine they might be able to, so maybe other kinds of tape would be better for that, but I know bed bugs cannot chew their way through that. So um, one other thing I'm going to show you is where the door goes into the hallway. Potentially bed bugs could crawl under the doorway because I have the laundry room right across from me. So what I do once a month is I spray this residual uh, permethrin, residual uh, bug killer rated for bed bugs as well. Spray that there once a month and hopefully that kills anything that crosses it. But I try not to use this anywhere else in my place. Um, I have used the diatomaceous earth but I try not to because it's very bad to inhale that stuff and it's almost impossible not to so I, I don't want to use that stuff anymore. That's supposed to be inside the wall voids and stuff only. But even when applying it there, you're going to put a dust of it into your air, and that's very bad for you. So I try not to use that. Again, I use the sticky traps. But I've never caught a bed bug ever in these traps. Never, never, never. Even during the infestations, because they're not attracted to the uh, bait that's in here. But it won't uh, monitor for roaches and anything like that. So it's still good to have. Um, other than that, I would recommend you definitely get your encasement and uh, use your protective bed mattress encasement. Here's the interceptor traps. You can make your own. I'll show you how I did that briefly. Basically, if you want to keep it simple, you don't need to make a trap. You just want to keep them off of your bed or dresser. Get a simple margarine container uh, like so. And all you have to do is lightly coat the outside of it with baby powder. Just dab, take some baby powder and just lightly dab it on the edges and stick your bed leg 
inside there and they cannot climb any plastic coated with baby powder just uh, wash them off once a month or so and reapply it but if you just don't need to make a trap want to keep them off your bed you don't need to, need to make a double walled one just put your bed leg in that and they can't climb that if you want to make a trap get two uh, two pieces of plastic like that basically you tape this to the center like that so it doesn't move and you would put like hockey tape or whatever on the outside a rough surface so they can climb up and coat both walls basically with baby powder and put your bed leg in that and they would climb up to get up to your bed and they would fall in and they can't uh, they wouldn't be able to get out much like this one and that would be a good homemade trap but I said if you just want to keep it simple get a margarine container and talc put baby powder dab it on there and they're not going to get up but this strategy that I use has actually protected me from um, uh, a severe infestation when the old lady uh, next to me and one over see now old lady had thousands of them and didn't even report it exterminators finally went in there and they said it was the worst they've ever seen in 20 years now these precautions uh, you still need to inspect re regularly they're not a hundred percent during a bad infestation one of them actually they were so bad one of them actually came out of the ceiling and dropped basically out of that fixture and dropped down because I had just thrown one of my um, one of my white shirts down here and I know there was nothing on it and a few seconds later I looked and there was one crawling on it so precautions I've taken you know can't hurt and they're not a be all and end all but the best things that you can do inspect your uh, box spring and your, your mattress regularly and check your traps often and I hope that helps and I'll show you how I talc my uh, my trap here this is baby powder. You can use the cornstarch or the uh, real talc stuff. It doesn't matter. Try not to inhale it when you're doing it. Just dab some in, in the center well. And basically, just get your cotton ball coated with it. It's hard to do this with one hand. Get your cotton ball coated with it and stick it, kind of flatten it and stick it in the sides. And just kind of go along the sides. You don't need very much now. Just want a little dusting of it right along the sides like so you know go around doesn't matter if you get in any metal or not and the bugs can't climb up try not to get any in the outside because then uh, you want them to actually climb up these same with your um if you're making a homemade trap here this video is getting long i'll end it soon if you're making your homemade trap if you want to keep it simple just use a margarine container or something from the dollar store and just lightly dab it on the outside you don't even have that's all you have to do and you're not going to be able to climb up that i've tried that with ants and they can't climb just plain plastic we can so i hope these uh trips help you tips from help you remain bed bug free and uh sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite like i say don't let nothing hang down or you will get a free right up you're never going to be perfect you roll around in your sleep and they touch sometimes when you know in a bad infestation if it's really bad they could be climbing the ceiling go on the popcorn ceiling there and drop off that could happen too but that's why you're going to inspect your uh, your encasement regularly hope these uh, tips help